Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ari from Enter Med School. Today we are going to solve question number 36 of IMA 2019. And this question is very good actually as an example of a tricky question Cambridge love to ask. So which row is correct for the three given features of a typical human B lymphocyte? So B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes are two very specific cells you will have to know when you study immunology for the IMAT exam. So B and T lymphocytes both produced in the bone marrow, but T lymphocytes will go to the thymus to mature. This is how I remember from the T in the name. And B lymphocytes will stay in the bone marrow to mature and to be released. While both produce inside the bone marrow, they have a different places of maturation, of processed, of being processed. So B cells aren't being process, processed in the thymus. So we can just remove all of the different question, rows that have V in them. And we already remove three options. Formed from bone marrow stem cells. Yes, we do know that both are forming from stem cells. They are asking of B lymphocytes, but I do like to may always mention and to study B and T lymphocytes together because they are working together and knowing both will help you a lot answering the IMAT questions and to understand the concept of immunity in a very superficial level as you should know for the IMAT exam. So yeah, they form in the stem cells and row 4 isn't correct. So we already have our answer very quickly, but I really want to emphasize on this table because contain genes coding for antibodies. Let's think about it, for example. All the genes in your body contain all the genes for every protein in your body. The question is if the following genes are expressed. For example, an eye cell or a epithelial cell of the intestine will both have the bow the same genes but the question is which genes are being expressed to make the eye cell an eye cell or and to make the intestine cell an intestine cell and this entire table can just be dismissed because this is a very tricky part of the question and they just love to ask questions about it and this question is a very very good example of something they like to trick you about so just make sure to know the difference between containing genes and expressing genes in a different and specific cells so thanks for watching i will see you next time